stretching from Afghanistan to Myanmar, the Hindu Kush Himalayas contain the largest volume of ice outside the Arctic and Antarctica. These mountains are the source for several rivers, providing water for drinking, irrigation and energy, among other essentials for 1.6 billion people. However, glaciers in this region could lose up to 75% of their volume by the end of the century, which will increase water stress, biodiversity loss, and the frequency of hazards. The 100-year floods is occurring more frequently. So as a result, the infrastructure that we are designing for needs to be also addressing this changing frequency. To address the growing demands of the region, governments and the private sector need to invest now. Hundreds of billions of dollars will be required to construct new infrastructure, including hydropower facilities, irrigation systems, water supply networks, roads and bridges. Building infrastructure that can withstand complex climate risk needs to be done now. We need to change the way we do development. Understanding of long-term climate risk needs to inform every single decision and be the basis of identifying investment opportunities. The Melamchi Water Supply Project provides a glimpse into the future of how climate change can undo our achievements. Decades of rapid urban development in Kathmandu Nepal's capital city have led to acute water shortages. The Melamchi Water Supply Project was envisioned to alleviate the chronic water scarcity in Kathmandu Valley by diverting fresh water from the Melamchi River to the capital via a 26-kilometer long tunnel. But in June 2021, Catastrophic climate-induced floods and debris flows damaged the headwork structures built to divert water to Kathmandu, burying them under 15 to 20 meters of debris. The the tunnel is now closed during the monsoon season to limit the risk posed by heavy rain, depriving the residents of Kathmandu of much needed water during these four months. The tunnel so these are kind of events that we've started to see in the Nepal Himalaya all across. It's, and it's not only one particular district or, or a water set. We've experienced quite a devastating impact in the eastern part of Nepal, Kosi province. Three of our districts were devastated, 31 hydropower plants, large section of roads, numerous breezes were wiped out. The Himalayan Kingdom of Bhutan faces similar issues. The Bhavani Johra Bridge provides crucial access for transportation of goods between the industrial area of Pasaka and the Indian bordering towns. Students use this bridge to walk to school and communities rely on this route for their daily activities. Supercharged by climate change, unprecedented monsoon rains in the past Three years have buried the bridge under six to seven meters of debris, making it completely unusable. The 19 flood was in Nachinaradi, no, and the Spurna Madiva, Nachinaradi, Najishimdima, Punjing Di, the Punjing Bay, the Ladin, and Achibi, Labisu di Nabe, any problem, any flood on the line, I'm saying Achilukangil Zuila. Road networks is very important in Bhutan. One of the biggest problems with uh, cli changing climate is erratic rainfall conditions. Uh, because of that, it's very important that we have to have proper drainage conditions and protection slope countermeasures to protect the landslides. So that's why I think it's very important that we have to design and engineer climate resilient infrastructure in the future. 
At the same time, the climate impacts are being felt across the region. Concrete steps are being taken to help communities become more resilient. In the western region of Nepal, rural communities are highly susceptible to shifts in rainfall patterns due to their dependence on mountain springs. A climate-resilient eco-project led by communities is transforming water management systems in these remote areas. Through strategies like water diversion and conservation, more than 50,000 households now have dependable water source protecting their livelihoods during dry seasons. The Thap Dam in the hills of the Kathmandu, completed in 2023, ensures water security for the nearby community by harnessing monsoon water to enhance the flow of the Bagmati River. Projects like this uh, small reservoir are increasingly important in the face of climate change. We need more and massive investment in climate adaptation projects, particularly for sectors or in areas which are highly exposed or vulnerable to climate change impact. And the Asian Development Bank, in collaboration with the government of Nepal and Bhutan, has launched the Building Adaptation and Resilience in the Indukush Himalayas Initiative to support government and private sector in planning and designing climate resilient projects. 1.6 billion people depend on the waters flowing from the melting ice on the roof of the world. Climate change is causing unprecedented destruction to the infrastructure supporting the region's development. We must act now to construct resilient infrastructure capable of withstanding these complex climate challenges. And we can also protect our lives, livelihoods as well as infrastructure. <laughs>